Pool life, it's the only life we know. Pool life, when you put it in the hole. Pool life, it's the cowboy show. Pool life, when you get that lucky roll. Hey pool fans, welcome back to another video. In today's episode, I'm going to help you guys, you pool players all over the world with the offset combo or the offset plan. A combo is usually what you pool players call it across the pond in America, here in England and Europe. We call it a plant that derives from the game of snooker. But basically, it is the same thing. The plant, the combo. Today, I'm going to show you a few little tips and tricks to become better at the offset combo. I'm sure some of you pool players already know about the offset combo, but I'm sure a lot of you out there don't. Today I'm gonna to cover it because it's a funny little situation and often, you know, this situation doesn't come up loads, but when it does, it catches a lot of you pool players out. So first of all, let's get to an obvious combo. Let me show you what goes on when we've got a little bit of gap between the balls and what we need to do. So here we have a combination. As you can see, the one ball, if I hit that dead straight onto the blue two, the blue two ball would hit roughly here. So what I've done is I've set the cue ball up in a dead straight line through the one ball and the pocket. So if I need to pop the blue two, I've got to aim on the right side of the yellow one ball to make the combination. So you've just seen a normal combination when the gap is pretty decent in between both balls. What happens when that gap goes from this to this? So this is a combination now where both balls are touching. You can see the combo is still lined up to the left side of the pocket, the left jaw. And on the previous shot with a pretty decent gap in between balls, we would hit on the right side of this yellow one ball. Now, because they're touching, we have to hit on the left. Let me just demonstrate. So we're hitting on the left side and watch the two ball. There you see it turns over and it goes the opposite way. Pretty incredible, right? Now I'm no scientist. I'm just a pool player. I presume it's something to do when these balls are touching, the friction when you hit it on the opposite side, it throws it the opposite direction. Again, I'm not a scientist. I haven't got a clue, but I know it does it. So that's what I'm showing you guys. When the balls are touching and you've got a combo that is offset, it does come up now and again, not a lot, but it will come up. You basically have to aim on the opposite side that you're thinking, like I've just shown you. Now what happens if the gap gets a little bit bigger? This is where things get interesting because now there's a gap in between the balls, but it's not a massive gap, but it's still a gap. So your brain would tell you to make this two ball that is still aiming to the left side of the jaw, because of the gap, you would need to aim on the right side of the one. But this is what happens. It still throws over to the left. So back to that shot, there's still that small little gap in between both balls. You would think hit the one ball on the right side because there's a gap. But no, you still got to aim on the left. It still throws it a little bit. Just like this. You could see the two ball turn over, even though you've still got that little bit of a gap. Now I know what you're thinking, how much of a gap will determine on which side of the ball I need to hit. Guys, don't be lazy, practice the shot. I'm not like gonna start saying it's two millimeters, it's four millimeters. I don't really know. All I know is the closer these balls are, the more it throws on the opposite direction. Guys, practice that, it's very useful. Why is it useful? Because if you ever have a situation like this, it's all about knowledge, it's all about percentages, you need to know these shots, they're very important. Let me show you this little scenario. This is the situation I'm talking about. It's my shot at the table, and this is what I'm faced with. The one ball doesn't put anywhere, it's not a dead set combo in the corner, but the balls are pretty much touching. So I now know that I have to aim on the opposite side of this one ball to make the two ball throw the opposite direction. So a normal combination, I would hit on the right hand side, 
in previous videos I've just shown you, we now know because they're close or touching, we have to aim on the opposite side. So now what I can do is I can worry about gaining position on the yellow one ball because I know the cue ball needs to be hit on this side of the one ball, like so. Now you could see the two ball throws over. I could hold the cue ball in the middle and now we've got a shot on the one ball. Hey guys, I'm here with the champ champ, the future champ champ. Josh, are you the future champ champ? What are you the champ champ at? Playing basketball. Oh, playing basketball, cool. Right, we have reached 10,000 subscribers. I said as soon as we hit that target, I'm gonna give away the Predator Air Jump Cue. Um, it's phenomenal jump cue. It's worth about $500 around that mark, so it's a very good prize. And my son, Josh, I've left Josh to do the draw. Josh, who is the winner? That is the winner right there. Get in touch with me on Instagram. Um, or you can email me if you don't have Instagram. Hopefully you'll see this video. If not, I'll try and chase you up somewhere in the comments. Well done. Oh, before we go, Josh, have you got any jokes? Why did, why did the skeleton go to the party alone? Uh, I don't know. Why did the skeleton go to the party alone? Because he had nobody to go with. Ah! Now I'm going to show you what many pool players around the world might try and do on this shot. Just to show you guys that it does not work. So again, the two balls aiming over to the left side of the rail. In your brain, you're telling yourself you need to hit on the right side of the one. But this is what happens. Do not do this. See how the two throws further down the left rail. And that's why you're not going to make them offset combos. Guys, what time is it? It's super sexy slow-mo time. There's no need to complicate things. Let me know in the comments if you love a super sexy slow-mo. I sure do. I think we can show so much on the pool table using the slow-mo video. It is pretty awesome. Guys, get practicing your offset combos. Offset combo, don't forget, when the balls are touching or very close, you have to aim on the opposite side of the ball than a regular combo. Practice it. Let me know how you get on. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell, hit the like, Merry Christmas, I'll see you very soon.